Welcome back to America's Now, I'm Elaine Reyes. From North America now to the Andean mountain range of South America. Global warming means the Andean glaciers are melting so fast that scientists predict they could disappear in 30 years. Peru's Cordillera Blanca, or White Mountain Range, is home to most of the world's tropical glaciers. America's Now contributing correspondent Dan Collins recently went to see the retreat of these magnificent glaciers up close. He files this report. Andean glaciers are in retreat. That's no longer news to many. But new scientific research reveals they are receding at their fastest rate in more than 300 years. It has to be seen to be believed. To get an idea of the accelerated pace of glacial melt, this lagoon didn't exist five years ago. And 20 years ago, the glacier ended somewhere down there. This is the Pastoruri Glacier, once the most visited of all the ice-topped peaks in Peru's Cordillera Blanca, or White Mountain Range. It used to be Peru's only ski resort. Now the main attraction will be a climate change tour. Luzmila Varela of Peru's Glaciology and Hydric Resources Unit has been watching the glaciers from up close. In this glacier in Pasto Ruri, we have a monitoring from the 80s, in which it has indicated a retrocess of 577 meters per year, which is about 18.05 meters. No, que se, que se va perdiendo al año. That's more than half a kilometer in 30 years. And in 20 years, the glacier has more than halved in size. The Pastoruri reinforces the scientific evidence that the glacial retreat in the last three decades is unprecedented. Tropical glaciers like these are more than just stunning scenery. They're also a vital source of fresh water for tens of millions of South Americans. But as the glaciers recede, there's a far more immediate risk to the people who live underneath them. In 2010, a chunk of glacier fell into a lagoon, creating a wave more than 25 meters high that triggered a landslide. In Pariacaca, villagers like mother of three, Ana Berospi, still remember that terrifying night. Gente han correteado. No sabía por dónde escapar. But these mountains have seen greater tragedies. In 1970, an earthquake triggered an avalanche of snow, ice and rock, which obliterated the town of Yungay. Some 70,000 people were killed in the deadliest earthquake in Latin American history. Scientists say global warming will make such natural disasters more frequent. But with help from another mountainous nation, Switzerland, and technological assistance from the University of Zurich, the town of Carruaz has installed Peru's first early warning system. Pariacaca's leader, Valentin Cantu, sleeps easier. Con sistema alert temprano, sí, claro, con comunicación con el, eso sí podemos ubicarnos más rápida donde hay sitios más seguros. With our guide Sosimo Waman, we hiked up to the glacier to see for ourselves. As is the custom, Sosimo made an offering of coca leaves to Mother Nature, or Pachamama in the native Quechua language. The local people here still revere the white-topped peaks, which have always supplied fresh, clean water for their farms and homes downstream. It took us four hours to reach the lagoon, known simply as 513, with the melting glacier looming magnificently above it. Until recently, these stunning glacial peaks here in Peru's Cordillera Blanca with the domain of just the Apus, the divine spirits of the mountains. Now, even here, there's the latest technology in avalanche detection, a man-made solution to the man-made problem of global warming. Deploying automatic cameras, real-time discharge measurements, and meteorological stations, this system is a huge advance. It's even solar powered. With one camera pointed at the glacier and another at the lagoon, avalanches, earthquakes, floods, and even heavy rains will be detected, explained engineer Cesar Gonzalez on the plane beneath Lagoon 513. In the scenario 
Entonces, y a Carguaz está llegando en 30 minutos. Rocas, la eh, tierra, llega a 4.800.000 metros cúbicos, que obviamente en ese escenario estaríamos, estaría afectando carreteras, eh, puentes, viviendas, y si la gente no estará preparada, obviamente vidas humanas.